welcome back to microbial concepts so in this video we will be discussing about industrial microbiology or what is industrial microbiology how it is different from microbiology and biotechnology okay so uh, there are few videos that i will be uploading under industrial microbiology series so this is the first video so do keep checking my channel or you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notification on each new video that I upload and you can check the playlist where you will find all the parts from this particular series okay so let's start so first industrial microbiology now we know that what is microbiology microbiology is a branch of science where we study microorganisms which we cannot observe by our naked eyes we need microscope for that and we study everything related to microbes so that is microbiology okay study of microbes now in case of industrial microbiology it is considered as a branch of applied microbiology okay so industrial microbiology is a sub discipline that means it is one of the subject from microbiology itself and a branch of applied microbiology in which microorganisms they are used for the production of important substances now you can simply uh, conclude that from the term itself that industrial microbiology that means it is related to the industry or the production of some products okay so simply that so used for the production of important substances like antibiotics food products enzymes amino acid vaccines and some fine chemicals like organic solvents okay now with respect to the scope objective and activities industrial microbiology is synonymous with the term fermentation now for production of all these um, economically important products what is needed fermentation okay so when um, you study industrial microbiology or you if you have this subject then you will be dealing with fermentation a lot okay so first you need to get your concepts clear regarding fermentation the fermenter the design of fermenter how it works what are the parameters to consider etc so after that you go for the um, study of all these um, processes for the economically important products okay so as fermentation uh, includes any process mediated by or involving microorganisms in which product of economic value is obtained okay so why microbes because they have the ability to convert inexpensive raw material into economically important product so that is how fermentation comes into the picture where we use microbes as they have the ability to convert inexpensive raw material to economically important product now first microbes are isolated according to the aim and then they are characterized classified and then they are used for the production now for example um, to consider you can say you want to uh, produce a particular antibiotic okay so you will start screening for the microbes which are able to produce that particular antibiotic then you will uh, test whether yes it is able to pr produce that particular antibiotic by doing some extraction or say downstream processes you will uh, assure that yes the strain has the ability to produce this particular antibiotic then you will see how much quantity the anti uh, the microbe is able to produce the antibiotic then you will start upscaling or you will start doing some lab scale experiments and then you will upscale that means you will try to increase the volume of the uh, fermentation okay to you will try to um, increase the uh, yield okay so that is upscaling and then you will go for large scale production if everything goes well now that is how the process goes now microbial products can be broadly categorized into metabolic products biotransformation production of biofuels treatment of organic and industrial waste then recovery of metals production of microbial biomass then like microbial biomass which means microbial proteins or single cell proteins for food and feed then production of biocontrol agents fermentation of food products so these are some different uh, categories in uh, of which um, the products are produced which has the economical importance now microbial fermentation processes are therefore commercially exploited for the production of food ingredients for example in case of um, uh, food industry also you will find okay so some beverages like wine beer they are produced by the fermentation process 
Now, large scale fermentation processes are specifically adjusted to microbial growth conditions. Okay, everything the parameters are adjusted so that your culture grows well and you get your yield. The downstream processes such as um, recovery, purification, packaging, shipment, they are done and these processes also have equal significance which means equal importance okay not just producing a product is uh, the work okay you have to do the recovery you have to purify that you have to check the quality then you have to package it then you sell it okay so industrial microbiology is actually having various processes and all the processes are equally important now areas of industrial microbiology they include quality assurance of food then even pharmaceuticals and chemical industries they use the industrial microbiology now you can see here microbial biosynthesis that leads to the product natural products okay then those are the products that we try to uh, produce on large scale under industrial microbiology so food products feeds fine chemicals, recovery of materi materials, then production of biofuels, microbial biomass, single cell proteins, metals, then um, biocontrol agent, enzyme proteins. These are the various products that can be produced under industrial microbiology by using the microbes which has the natural ability to produce or do some of these um, productions. Okay. Now, what is the role of an industrial microbiologist? Okay, once you uh, get a qualification as an industrial microbiologist, then you have a particular role to be uh, done in a industry. Okay, so industrial microbiologist will do study and he or she will solve the problems which are related to the industrial production process. That means starting from the fermentation to upstream, downstream, everything the industrial microbiology a microbiologist has to consider and try to solve the problems okay so problems related to the fermentation process downstream upstream etc now the industrial microbiology also implies other fields like genetic engineering molecular biology biochemistry all together okay so it depends so if it comes to strain improvement then yes you have to do that for getting the higher yields okay now the processes oh sorry the process is like screening for desired microbes identification testing for mutation then performing strain improvement if required or you can do recombinant dna technology and performing the pilot scale experiments then scaling up and then using that particular strain for large scale production this is how the process goes after large scale production you have the downstream where you need to recover the product you need to purify it check the quality start packaging etc and then it goes into the market for selling purpose now in industrial fermentation the main role is played by the enzymes okay so microbes they are the one uh, which we try to grow by adjusting the parameters then the enzymes which they or the enzyme system which the particular isolate or the particular culture has that particular enzymes will play the important role in your fermentation okay so the enzymes can be intracellular or extracellular the enzymes play a vital role in fermentation degradation and even utilization of raw materials and that's how as the enzymes they start utilizing your raw material or the media they will start growing and then if uh, the culture is able to produce antibiotics then it will start producing antibiotics if the culture is producing some other product then it will start producing that so the enzymes are the one which plays the important role in fermentation okay so sometimes enzyme itself can be your final product for example amylase or peptidases so this was about industrial microbiology few of the examples of economically important products to list if you have this for your uh, say short note or if you get a question for three or four marks you can list all these points okay so in case of beverages you have wine and beer then uh, for vitamins vitamin a vitamin b12 amino acids like lysine glutamic acid organic acids like lactic acid gluconic acid antibiotics like streptomycin and penicillin and food items like cheese in case of bread making vinegar etc okay so this was about what is industrial microbiology so i hope the concept is clear to you if you don't know if you want to uh, opt for this subject then i guess this video has helped you
to get the idea better idea on what the subject is actually okay so thank you for watching do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and yes you can follow me on instagram by the same handle that is macrobill concept thank you for watching